and i beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of air and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth even as a fig tree casted her untimely figs when she is shaking off a mighty wind and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bond man and every free man eat themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that seated on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of his wrath is come and we shall be able to stand now this is the what you need to understand after the fifth seal don't forget jesus christ said in matthew 24 and mark mark i think mark 13 or mark okay i think it's mark 13 that the days if the days had not been shortened no even the saints will be deceived this is what will happen by the time the fifth seal is opened and the tribulation is so high and the number of the materials as complete the rapture will take place before the sixth seal rapture will take place so note that have it understood that rapture will take place during this immediately after the sixth seal the fifth seal is fulfilled before the sixth seal don't go out there and then be confused like others because some people are confused they don't know that rapture will take place before the second coming because immediately the second the sixth seal is opened that is the second coming that is why all these things will happen you, rem- you remember in the book of matthew the moon will not give a light the sun will be darkened the stars will fall down you can see it's the same thing that we're having here too let me read it again he says and i beheld when he had opened the sixth seal that is revelation 6 12 and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of air and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth can you see that same thing that jesus christ was saying even as a fig tree casted her untimely trees when she's shaking off a mighty wind and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together because jesus christ will appear physically and that is when the bible that saying that says the whole world will see him when he's coming <laughs> and that is what the israelites are expecting that's why they didn't believe in his first coming they thought he's coming as a great warrior with his armies to come and take over the world from the ruler of the world that is what the israelites are waiting for they never knew that his first he will first of all come as a savior in order to gather saints unto himself that's why Israelites today they don't believe in Jesus Christ. If you are hearing me, you have gone to you have gone to Jerusalem before holy pilgrimage. You will discover that the Israelites they don't believe in Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, they bullshit him. They call him uh, he's our brother, the son of the carpenter. That's why they call Jesus in Israel. Till today, only very few of them, about either 25 or 30 percent of them, believe in Jesus Christ in Israel. 70 to 75 percent they believe they don't believe in him. Yeah, they believe in Judaism. They are still practicing their Judaism. Go and ask. Are you getting it? So, the rapture will take place immediately at the rounding off of the fifth seal. Then the sixth seal will be opened because the sixth seal is the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus Christ will be coming in his power. Hey, the whole world. Can you see? Let me read that Bible. The Bible says, and the kings of the earth that's verse 15 and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man eat themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rock fall on us and hide us from the face of him 
that seated on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the for the great day of his wrath is come and we shall be able to stand nobody so that is why we are begging you in case you are hearing me, you have not given your life to jesus christ you are hearing me you are still arguing the scripture you are still arguing the word of god i beg you in the name of god stop your argument but rather surrender to the lord hey i am telling you i'm begging you you cannot bear the wrath of god immediately the sixth seal is opened children of god can no longer be on earth by that time if you are still on earth after rapture and you did not die before they open the sixth seal you are in trouble that means probably adventure you have collected the mark of the beast and then you are enjoying your life thinking all is all, all is over please i'm begging you always pray for mercy because the bible says it's not of him that will it it's not of him that run it but of god that she waits in mercy which means even if you are willing to obey god you are willing to run the race and you are running the race the bible says it's not you that will win but those that god show mercy so learn to ask for the mercy of god in every situation and i pray the lord will have mercy upon us in the name of jesus christ now chapter 7 and after these things i saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and i saw another angel descending from the east having the seal of the living god and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to earth the earth and the sea saying earth not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servant of our god in their four heads and i heard the number of them which were seed and there were seed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of israel of the tribe of judah were seed twelve thousand of the tribe of reuben were seed twelve thousand of the tribe of god were seed twelve thousand of the tribe of asa were seed twelve thousand of the tribe of nephthali were seed twelve thousand of the tribe of manasses were seed twelve thousand of the tribe of simon were seed 12,000 of the tribe of Levi were seed 12,000 of the tribe of Issachar were seed 12,000 of the tribe of Sabulon were seed were seed 12,000 of the tribe of Joseph were seed 12,000 of the tribe of Benjamin were seed 12,000 after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robe and robes and palms in their hands and cry with a loud voice saying salvation to our god which seated upon the throne and unto the lamb and all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped god saying amen amen blessings and glory Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the others answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed, which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of the of great tribulation. Can you see that? And have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamp. Can you see? Now, immediately after the fifth sea is opened and tribulation takes place, and all the saints they need to be killed. Not all the saints will be killed as Matthias but majority of them will be killed as Matthias are you getting it so after that and then they hold to their faith and they were killed for their faith the Bible says look at what the Bible says in that verse 15 Revelation 7 15 therefore are they before the throne okay no 14 
14 b says these are they which came out of the out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb remember the bible says in that daniel don't forget daniel 11 i think 11 that says to try them to punch them and to make them white as snow can you see that the bible is repeating the same thing here that they are they are these are the people that are come out from great tribulation and their robes have been washed in the blood of the lamb and they are now white because for you to be acceptable in that kingdom you must be white your robes must be white. There's a Yoruba song that says, Ah, show me a fun fun. Lau, lau, lau. It means my garment will be white, pure, white, white, white. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? So, the reason why we need to endure this tribulation is so that the blood of the Lamb can wash us. Now, before we get here, the angel was saying that they are going to seal 144 and forty thousand and forty four thousand of people among the israelites you know the israelites they don't believe but despite the fact that they didn't believe in christ my dear there is a covenant of god upon them so in each tribe of israel twelve thousand will be saved and that simply means they will come out of that grace tribulation to become a saint of god that is the 144,000. that's the mystery of 144,000. there are so many people saying that it is only 144,000 that will make heaven all over the world that's not what the bible is saying no but the israelite that rejected christ the israelite that doesn't know christ the israelite that don't even know that they are israelite there will be a seal upon them that will make them to endure the tribulation of that time that will make them to stand with god that will make them to stand with christ and come out of the tribulation and become a saint unto god so they and all other saints they were the ones singing amen blessings and glory i get in it 16 that says they shall hunger no more hey these are the beauties that used to spark my head you see if you look at me and say oh you this boy why is it that you are so adamant when it comes to things of god you do i know you are not ready to change you you just you just hold on to this holiness 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 you are just shouting about holiness 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 what is it are you the only one going to heaven one of the things that gave me joy is this thing look at what the bible says they shall hunger no more presently as i'm talking to you in the next two three hours now i will be hungry very very hungry but in heaven there is nothing like that hey do you know what it means when you are living and you don't remember hunger again casa he says need a test anymore hey i'm tasty i want to drink minerals i want to drink water i need some red wine i need some juice that will not be there again you will, will not feel tasty again you will be okay we will feel all right we will not feel tasty anymore nothing like we are i'm feeling tasty no we will not feel tasty are you not are you not inspired are you not willing to be in this position are you not are you not i don't know what to say we will not be hungry again we will not feel tasty anymore he says neither shall the sun light on them nor any eat there are some part of this country now even your own country you dare not come out when it is 11 12 1 2 3 4 because the sun the heat in some countries not even in some country when you go to north not some part of the world not a part of your country not a part of other world you know you go to not some part of the world if you know from 6 a.m in the morning the sun is already hot in Kano, there's a state in Nigeria called Kano. According to what people living there say, you can actually fry egg inside the sun. I'm not joking. I saw a video that if you put your frying pan inside the sun, you can actually put your oil and fry egg. I'm not joking. For you to know the intense, the tense of the heat of that part. Now imagine 
a situation whereby they now say no more eat no more sun imagine how powerful and how palatable it will be ah i think we need to pray here say god have mercy upon me. Give me the grace to make it to your kingdom. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the merciful. Jesus Christ, the merciful. Jesus Christ, the merciful. Oh Lord, I pray for mercy. Ah, I don't want to miss this. Oh Lord, your kingdom is too beautiful. It is too wonderful for me to miss it. Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. I don't want to miss it, oh Lord. 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 Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon my soul. 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 Do not allow me to miss your kingdom. Have mercy upon my soul. Do not allow me to miss your kingdom. Have mercy upon my soul. Do not allow me to miss your kingdom. Have mercy upon my soul. Show me your mercy. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. He says. For the lamb which is the which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. In case you are crying today, God is God will wipe your tears. In case you are suffering, the Lord will take away your suffering. But just endure. Hold forth.